Could ADHD like behavior actually be a breathing issue? Many behavioral challenges are often tied to not how long a child sleeps, but actually how well the child sleeps. If your child is mouth breathing all night long, their brain is actually staying in this fight or flight mode, alerting, anxious, and trying to get enough air. Even if they're sleeping eight to nine hours, they wake up tired, and that tired brain often will show up as ADHD-like behaviors. That's mood swings, anxiety, meltdowns, irritability, poor focus in school. Nasal breathing actually will filter and warm the air and humidifies it and tells the brain it's safe. Mouth breathing does the complete opposite. And this is where myofunctional therapy and red light therapy together come in play. Myofunctional therapy helps with the tongue, the lips, and the airway in the right way. Red light therapy will help calm the brain and the body. When we use both, kids sleep better, feel calmer, and do better during the day.